All right, everyone. So, uh, August D. Oliver again. Here we are at Brighter Way, and we have an awesome patient, Belisario. And Belisario had a traditional stud type overdenture, so just overdenture with locators on the top. And we wanted to give him a smaller prosthesis, something without a palate, something with less flanges on the lower as well. So we decided to do a bar overdenture. So here he has the wax try-in. So come on over a little bit closer. Let's take a look. Uh, Belisario, um, Sierra La Boca, por favor. Abra, Sierra, Mastica. And so his bite is great. And I'll go over how we took a bite. So this is a little different than cases in the past. Because case in the past, we had a um, converted all in four to maintain the patient's vertical. With him, we're going from a removable, and getting the bite on that was pretty tough. But come on a little closer there. Let's take a look at what this looks like. So again, this is just a wax try, and there's no actual locators in here. Just the uh, housing. But go ahead, uh, Sierra. You can kind of see these bar over dentures here, so this looks pretty cool. Now, come on over here to the pan. Again, if this does not fit passively, we're opposed, right? So uh, we can see here there's no gaps on the pan. You can zoom in a little bit more on the pan. So let me go over to the prime scan and, and just kind of talk about how we did this bite. So, what we did was we scanned, come on, zoom in here a little bit. And uh, we, we took these desk titanium abutments. So we scanned the upper, we scanned the lower, and we got the, this weird buckle bite. So what we did was we did a cone beam scan of this patient's dentures in occlusion. We used mesh mixer and we cut out a window so the patient could bite into this jig. What we also did was took scans of the multi-units, and uh, I'll post on digital now on the full case, but what we did was we took those scan dentures, and now the lab can actually use the multi-unit attachments, and he had a reline denture. And so they can take those two points, move them together. So now the lab has the scan bodies, has patient's bite, but a denture and occlusion to pick, to shape, midline, and all that good stuff. So again, stay tuned to Digital Enamel. I'll be posting this case within the next week.